It turns out first aid is about more than just CPR and bandages. After today, a small group of New Mexicans are now certified in what's called mental health first aid. News 13's Madeline Schmidt explains. And that would be like the cutting, burning, um, self-inflicted pain. It's a tough topic. So, A, do we think there's any risk of suicide or harm? But in a state where suicide is a leading cause of death for children, it's exactly why this group of about 25 people came together today in Bernalillo County. This is youth mental health first aid. Clint Pyatt and his co-teacher are on a mission. To destigmatize mental illness in the community. From 8 to 5, this group learned a skill set that could help them save a life. Do not diagnose, but let someone know that you're there to listen and help. Rebecca Perry Piper was interested in the free certification because she's a substitute teacher working directly with children. Marisa Romero works with kids too with the county's Parks and Rec Department. But for Romero, it wasn't just about the kids she interacts with on the job. On a personal level, it helped me kind of understand um, I, re I have a family member who attempted recently. Not only has her husband tried to kill himself, her nephew went through with it last year. It's given me the tools to not feel quite so helpless. From lectures to videos to group activities, these people are walking away feeling confident that they could help change New Mexico's disheartening statistics. My hope is, is that with the proper training that we're getting in this area is that we're going to be that one little light that may be able to help them. Madeline Schmidt, KRQE News 13. According to the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, New Mexico has the third highest suicide rate in the country.